Hey guys, this is Priya and you're watching Droidpedia Academy. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, let us understand on how we can generate the APK file or the IPA file for an Expo app. Let's go. So this is a very simple uh, weather app that I've written. All right. You can pause this video, have a look at the entire code if you're interested. And if you guys are also interested, I'll probably share the link with you guys in the description box. Have a look at it, right? This is how the preview of the app looks like. It's a very simple weather related app. Once you have successfully coded everything onto the weather app or the expo app, what you need to do is click on this download as a zip option, right? And you need to download the zip file. Now, once you have the zip file clearly downloaded onto your local setup, you need to extract it. And this is how the extracted version of my app looks like. There you go. Cool. Now that you have this ready, right, we can test it or run it on the terminal. Let's go ahead and see how to run it. So CD and downloads because it's inside the downloads folder. Then LS to see if it is the correct location then the weather app cool that's how i enter into my clone app. now what you have to do is the next step is to type expo space start right before if in case you're getting any error then please type lem space install so all the needed repositories or the files uh, will be installed onto the local setup as well if it's a simple program, it takes less time. If it's a longer program, it takes a couple of time. So next step is going to do the expo start. Cool, this is right. Now you can test it on multiple devices. This is the web browser, right? Let's have a look at the output also. Cool, this is how it looks like. All right, let's go with the iOS simulator. By the way, guys, if you're interested on how to do this setup, the link is in the description box or I'll put an iCard over here. You can have a look at it, right? I have showed you everything and how to install and also run, uh, run your very first app. All right. This does take a couple of seconds, so be patient with it. Okay. Sometimes it might show an error depending on what kind of things you do. You can just fix it by going on to Visual Studio Code, adding your project, and just identify what's the error. There you go. That was a very small mistake that I have done maybe, and that's why it was not showing the output. Any which ways, that's how the output looks like. All right, you have it on the weather app, which is the web, and then follow it up with iOS and also you can run it on an Android device for that you need to have the Android version this is the Android device that you need to have uh, you need to go to configure then go to the AVD manager I'm going to show you this in a little bit fast forward because I have already shown how to do this all right there you go see how cool is that you have it on all the devices right now that your app is perfectly tested and it's working on all the devices the next step is on how to publish this particular app so we are going to go into this uh, terminal once again and we need to build our code so click on Control c to stop the working and to actually build the particular project we need to type the following command expo space build colon Android. It's going to set up the project. It's going to take a couple of minutes and I'm going to give a package name dot weather app. Right. It actually shows us a sample. So I personally prefer uh, the same thing to write. Yeah. All right. That is done. We'll build the APK. Click on enter. Create a new key store. Okay, it's optimizing the bundles, it's building it. 
Dependency is building queue. That means it is get trying to connect it to your Expo account. So you got to log in. If you can see, it shows me this link, right? Expo dashboard followed by the status. You can monitor it. Oh, if you can see, it is in the status queue. Again, this might take a lot of time or a very little amount of time depending upon the kind of app you're making. All right. I have done a simpler one, so I'm guessing it should be very quick to happen, but you never know. Okay. Now the successful build, this is how it shows. All right. Let's go to the expo. You should be able to see this kind of a window. It says build artifact and then finish series. Now you can download, give a name, awesome. You can see your weather APK generated. In the same process, you can do expo build for iOS as well. You can give a name again the same way. You can choose simulator or uh, archive. I would say like the simulator for now. Awesome. Again, build status is queue. Once the download is done successful, I will be back. All right, I'm back. And as you can see, the status is now finished. You can build, uh, you can see the built artifact and you can just click on this download button and just give a name. Once the download is successful, you can see something like this. So you can just extract it. And once you extract it, this kind of a weather app called dot app is generated open your simulator account and you can just drag and drop this onto your screen and it gets it gets installed so you can open it and as you can see it is working absolutely fine so that's how you can test it on a simulator one of the other ways is the apk file where you can actually drag and drop it on your android device as well so um if you do have an Android simulator, then definitely you can test it on that. Another option could be that you connect your USB-C or cable or whichever cable do you have of your mobile phone to your laptop and uh, copy paste this APK file uh, while installing. The thing is you need to have developer access. So you need to go to about phone and uh, enable your developer options, something like that. If you guys don't know how to install an APK file on your mobile phone, let me know i will make a video on that also all right so that's how you can actually install this another thing i wanted to show is if you are interested in supposedly generating the ipa file then how will you do it so you do expo build right the thing is uh, if you do have a developer account then only this will be happening i personally do not have any developer account that's why it's going to show me error but let me show you what kind of errors are possibly happening so uh, if i say i do not have it then you can say no it will ask you to go with expo handling process uh, then you say okay but end of the day you need to give your uh, apple username account so this is the kind of errors you are probably going to see and if you do have a developer account then you will be able to generate your ipa file so that's how you can use your expo app and generate the apk app or ipa files whichever you personally prefer to if this video was actually helpful for you in any which ways do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel see you guys in the next video uh, do leave your suggestions in the description box uh, i would love to make one video as such and also guys i'm coming up with a very new series where i'm going to talk about different libraries related to javascript if you guys are interested uh, let me know in the comment section down below see you guys then bye